everybody. Good morning. Ah, <coughs> oh, that's that's a good way to start. Let's bring uh, Z Uno and Z Surge in. Hello. Hello. Yo, how's it going? Oh, oh God, it's so warm. I yeah, Are that's like a rock star? I I understand it's very warm in the UK right now, and I apologize. It's is it your it's, fault? <laughs> yes, it is actually. I uh oh. yeah, my bad. Oh. We're back in the vault. We're back in the vault hunters. Um this is a mod pack um developed by Iskal85 uh and his team of developers. So Vault Hunters is basically if they took Minecraft and sandwiched it with like um the end game of Diablo or Path of Exile. So Vault is a one-time dungeon. We don't have any idea how long we're going to be doing this. Um, you know, we're going to get in here today, obviously. Uh, we're going to take a look around it to see what everybody who is playing on the server has been up to and, and kind of exploring that. Obviously, we need to get myself and Uno geared up, which Surge has told us really shouldn't take very long at all. Um, and then we can kind of just start jumping into these vaults and screwing around. I'm going to open up Z Minecraft here. Just to be clear, this is not a fresh start, right? So um, we're going into a world that Surge has hundreds of hours in, that dead, uh, dead I was about to say dead pool, uh, that dead pine <laughs> uh, has many, many hours in as well, I'm sure. Um, so, you know, th some things have happened. It's an accelerated start. Um, the uh, so one other thing that's very important for this start that was a frustration we had in the last time is this is a modified seed. For 10,000 blocks at the starting point in every direction, it is pure vanilla. Uh, the nether is vanilla and the end is vanilla because the modded biomes make it very, very difficult. So to open up a vault, you only need vanilla materials. Right. And um, <laughs> you can't find vanilla materials there. Okay, so you have Elytras. Now you'll notice I didn't bring you rockets. Welcome to the world of Vault Hunters. Where we don't use rockets. <laughs> rockets? Where we're going, we don't need rockets. All right, so let's hit H, and I want to introduce you to one of the most important UIs in the entire game of Vault Hunters. Yep. And this is something that we saw last time that we didn't really understand. There are four tabs. Uh, the first tab is your character sheet. It shows you your stats. Yep. Uh, so at this point, I have done 122 vaults. Uh, uh, vaults completed. Uh, zero. I've done zero yep. vaults. All right, you're just for some stuff. The second tab is called abilities. And these are pretty unique to Vault Hunters. You might see similar things otherwise in, in, in other places, but this is quite cool. And this is how you unlock progression. You'll find abilities like Vein Miner, uh, Rampage is a combat one, Dash, Mega Jump, etc., etc. Et so these are unique activated abilities that you can get. Don't bother clicking on anything right now. Uh, right. The next tab after that is Talents. And talents are basically additional stats. So you can give yourself extra hearts, extra toughness, extra speed. These are all really cool and really powerful. These are passive abilities. These are things that don't need to be activated. Right. That's where Twerker This is. is where Twerker was. I remember Twerker. And then the final one is researches, the final tab. These are mods. So this is a heavily modded experience, but at the very beginning of Vault Hunters, everything you do is vanilla. You can only unlock mods through progression. All right, so this is this is suffix. Hey, look, it's it's mangle pixel and H bomb. I'll explain all of that later. So yeah, uh, this is another important thing. You'll see there's a bunch of rare ores over here that are different from vanilla. Yeah, these are all found within vaults. So we've got some Laramar. We got some. Oh, don't bother trying to pronounce them. Uh, the name, they're all named after developers. Ah, okay. So these are all named after the devs, and then all of these on the wall. You see these fancy-looking ones. These are all named after uh, some of the core YouTubers for the official Vault Hunters SMP. Neat. So Gorgonite is stress monster. Uh, I, 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 that's it. it that's it, all. That's I all I, I, obviously I, Iscalium for Iscal. I could, I could have guessed this for stress monster with the the hearts. That's yeah, very cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very cute. Uh, Serge, your base is a hole. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to the Pillar Driller. Now, I know you've been really enjoying this whole punch-a-chunk thing, but let me introduce you to the next evolution of digging holes. Uh-huh. This is 32 by 32, four times as much digging as you do, 
round, a far superior shape to square. This is better than a chunk a punch. Punch a chunk in every single way. I mean, that's just hurtful. If you come across a glass jar in the forest with a zombie and a villager in it, do you break them open? <laughs> Not a chance. They're uh, they're making me money, James. Yeah. Then... So of course, over this way is our vault entrance. Yeah. So it's like another right pool. Uh, it's like another portal, except it has to be built out of blackstone. Yeah. And so when we want to go in and run vaults, that's where we're going to start from. I do remember uh, on that. On the wall above here is the artifacts that I've collected. And you need 25 unique artifacts to unlock the final vault. I have one in about 200 <laughs> hours, but I'm not I'm not really aiming for them. Oh, okay. So this is my main storage area. Yep. And then I've got my my vault altar here. Now this is extremely important. This is how you get into vaults. Yeah. So what you do is you take a vault rock. Yep. Yeah, I do remember this part. And then you put it on the altar. And it's important to note that the person who places it on the altar is the one who sets the recipe. What's your little trophy for? Uh, th there's a weekly contest. I won ah, it. Ah, nice. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I'm going to have another one of those on Monday. So all of these statues can be found in vaults. Okay. And this is a, like a cool little thing that Vault Hunters do, does, so you don't have to collect every single resource yourself. You'll find statues, and if you put them on top of a chest, they'll basically poop the block oh, they drop into it down below. That's cool. And um, I've got a chat redemption in my home stream that members of the community can spend channel points to be a statue. Neat. Uh, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have something I can share with you, but I, I don't want chat to know. Uh, what? So... Yeah, just, 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 just get, close your eyes, chat, earmuffs. All right. So this is this is don't don't even worry about this. Okay. Like what the statues are, but yeah. Shh. Get in here. Mass, 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 mass. What the hell is this? <laughs> Secret labort. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's awkward. Uh. Uh. It's, it's... <laughs> I'm... I may have, I may be cryogenically growing an army of minions to fight for me in the vaults. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I hate to tell you this, James. Of everyone we've rolled, you have the worst stats. What? Like, yeah, you kind of stink. Damn to be it! Honest. I mean, yeah. like, I already stink in real life. You could have made my clone <laughs> better. Come on! I, this, I like... like, look, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. <sighs> All right. I've tried it's a shame, really it's a shame hard. We can't actually see uh, stats here. Oh, you can't, right, I guess. Yeah, we yeah, can't. It's uh, unlocked for you. So Uno has 28 health, 11 damage, and applies Wither to all enemies. What? That sounds plausible. Uh, James, you have 26 health, 7.5 damage, and apply Slowness to enemies. Boo. I mean, that's not horrible, but yeah. Joe has 33 health, 2 speed, 10 damage, and applies Luck to everybody, which basically means every chest has one more guaranteed loot drop. Wow. All right. Joe is S tier. You barely, you barely have a passing grade. I'm sorry. <laughs> so one thing that's very important to note: when you're in the vault, you cannot heal with food. The only way you can heal yourself is with uh, splash potions. Okay. So what we're gonna do to get you some survivability, and I just threw two backpacks on the ground behind you, is you're gonna want to fill your backpacks with uh, splash potions and then have a couple in your inventory. That's gonna be super important when we get into there. And then probably keep some on our hotbar as well. Presumably. Cool. Two yeah, the hot um, so the nice thing about Vault Hunters is if you have one in your hotbar and you use it, it'll automatically refill that slot. Ah, all right, cool. Yeah, so you just need the one there, which is very, very, very handy, right? Cool. So there are skills and there are abilities, right? Yep. And we can, do we have, can we get both right now or can we only do one yeah, of them? Yeah, you absolutely can. So if you look in the top right corner, you'll see that you have yeah, four, four available skill points. Yeah. So uh, just to talk about all the things that are very important, I think dash is an absolute important one to grab. Yeah. So always take dash. Yeah. Um, if you like it, put more points into it or not. Uh, other things that are important are vein miner for obvious reasons, but vein miner is different in this. If you click on vein miner, you'll see that there's a certain amount of blocks that are unlocked or not. Yeah. Uh, cleanse is tremendously important. Yeah, I'm going to take cleanse. Yeah, other things that are really strong are um, reach. 
So I liked, reach. I liked having reach last time. Yeah. Well, reach is also important because there are trap chests, and if you can click on the chest a little bit further away, you can save yourself from getting click uh, from, you know, getting exploded. What's the difference between abilities and talents? Abilities are activated. Talents are passive. Oh, okay. I so like... my recommended point spread would be, vein miner, reach, uh, dash, and cleanse. And then dealer's choice for the last one. But obviously, like, you know, you do you. Uh, so I've taken cleanse. I've taken, I've got dash. I've put a point in speed just for the uh, extra movement there. I yep. will probably take reach. Yeah, I might take speed as well, actually. When we get into vaults, you take your elytra off? Uh, yes, don't even bring it in. So two things to know. Um, one, if you die in a vault, you lose everything you're carrying. Everything, everything, everything you're carrying is gone. However, this is something we didn't know before. You can buy insurance. Another thing to know about multiplayer is if one person dies in a vault, everyone dies. Oh, what? Yeah. I don't know if I like that mechanic. That's interesting. Yeah. All right. So in order to keep that from happening, this is going to be your best friend. Oh, a totem or a vault <laughs> item idol. Hold it in the offhand, I assume. Yep, the whole time you're in there. And totems are actually really cool because the the more time you spend in vaults, uh, basically the better they get. Perfect. Have you got never right in a drawer somewhere? Uh, not accessible, no. James should have enough on him though for everything else. I just threw a pick on the ground. There we go, axe and attacks. And this is obviously going to be uh, picky mick pick. Perfect. Okay. All right, so grab that there. You can also see there's ham. And what you want to do is you want to throw it at the altar. Yeah. <laughs> hey. You failed at that. Same player who places the altar has to put the rock in it. It's a weird glitch my part and I, partner and I encountered early on. Yeah, that's, so, it's fine. So do you want me to, like, would it work if I break this altar and place it? Or does it need to be a new altar? Oh, that's an interesting question. Yeah, try, try doing that, actually. So if I, I think of that. if I place the altar and do that and then do this and then come over here and grab this, that works. Yeah, that works. Hey, hey there I, we I go. Need... All right. There we go. Now, now hit the button. Now hit the button. Yeah. So are you interested in just running right into a vault for the first time? I mean, I wait. Where, oh, there it goes. I was like, oh, no, right. where to go? So now pass this to me. And a very important thing we're gonna do is we're gonna buy insurance. I'm curious how this works. All right, so there's an item that you can find or that you can craft called the soul flame. And if you check out JEI, you can see the recipe for it. Soul sand, wither skeleton, and a soul lantern. Yeah, so it's actually quite affordable. Uh, you find a ton of wither skeleton skulls inside. So what you do, you're pass that back to me, Uno. What you do is you take the vault crystal and you craft it with the soul flame. And now if you take a look at the crystal, you'll see it has a modifier on it. Has afterlife. All items you entered with will be restored on death. No artifact can be found. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so, that's why I only have one of 25 artifacts as well. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna get a little bit chatted out. Are you, are you ready? <laughs> no. I, I I am not. Hi. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's. I mean, my game's crashed, so I don't know what's going on. There. Oh. <laughs> you ever get so chatted out, your friend's game crashes? All right, so let's talk about the vault really quickly. Um, our goals are to go in and hit as many chests as possible. There are two tiers of chests. There are regular vanilla chests. And then there are fancy chests that are either called gilded or multiplayer chests. Every chest is worth hitting. Um, the ones that are different colors from vanilla chests are worth more, but that's not to say that regular chests are not useful. Okay. okay. Uh, mobs will passively spawn in every room. Do not try and clear them. Mobs will always spawn. Right. So the goal isn't to sort of fight your way through it slowly. The goal is to just kill everything. You know what I mean? Yep. Uh, kill everything, get through rooms. I'll... I'll basically tell us if a room is worth looting or not. Rooms come in different rarities, and the higher the rarity, the better the vault loot. Okay. Go ahead and place the vault crystal in there, 
And then what's going to happen is we're going to get uh, we're going to get some random modifiers. So just and we go. All right. So we got strong. Oh, my God. They gave you difficult. That is unlucky. <laughs> so this is technically like a level 26 vault right now. Oh, what? <laughs> good, good uh, stuff. Because good stuff. The, the difficult modifier does that. So there you go. Right in front of us, we have our first obelisk. All right, so this is shockingly dangerous. Good. All right, so we're getting overwhelmed. Start pillaring your way up and out. And we want to exit the room opposite the way we came in. Ow. No, the chest. Ah! Seriously, silverfish? Oh, silverfish are the worst, actually. Uh, run away. Oh. Run, careful, 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 careful. Silverfish are super deadly. So everything that we've encountered so far has been a common room. Welcome to a rare room. This is called the village. And the really exciting part about this room is actually underground. Yeah, I would not follow me underground. There's nothing down here. So there's a, like, secret rare chance down below. Mm -hmm. That, like, uh, a powerful room spawns down there. And give you, like, mega loot. He did not get it, however. All right, we're getting a little overwhelmed in this room. Ah. How you feeling? How you feeling? Oh, that was a trap chest. That's why I was like, what just happened? I mean, I'm good. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm alive. So I can kind of teach you the rooms as we go. And it, it's an awful lot like Tarkov, right? Oh, God. Stuck. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you for getting me out, Mr. Creeper. Ah, there's oh. uh, a good box there. Careful, 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 careful just get behind in the room. you. Just get in the room, get in the room. This room is absolutely worth looting. Oh, there's another obelisk here. So be very careful. If you look in the bottom left corner, you see we've activated two out of three obelisks. So if you click on the next obelisk, we'll be immediately put into the boss fight. Which is fine. Uh, I just want to make sure that you know that that's going to happen before you click on it, mm -hmm. right? This room is pretty safe. Uh, be careful. This is called a B room, and there's like um, there's like a 50/50 chance when you break open a B that it explodes or it's full of loot. What 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 B are you talking about? It, you'll know when you see it. What B am I talking about? I'm I'm sure. Well, I I mean if you'll it's, know it when you see it. I mean you say that, but I don't see anything. Oh hey, I found a B. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow, really? Wow, you got lucky. Yeah, grab all the compressed blocks. Well done. I mean... All right. Well, the, try the other B. Where's the other B? All right, it's right beside the one you were just at. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah! Run away, run away, run away! I'm back at the entrance that we came into. Uh-oh. Bad B. Holy moly, that was a big explosion. That was a big B. All right, we only have five minutes left. We need to start moving pretty quick here. Just because we're we're new to this, let's go a little more on the safe side. I guess so we want to get out of here in about 15 seconds? Yep, as soon as the, as soon, it'll start flashing red. Cool. Once the 30 second timer goes. And I don't know how much experience it gets. It's a shame we couldn't kill the boss for your first run, but I, I figured it's better to be on the safe side. Just so you sort of, you know, get the vibe. This is also a very challenging vault. Uh, the fact that this is <laughs> your level one and this is a level 26, 27 vault is uh, kind of funny. All right, let's go. Oh my God. That's so troll. Hmm? Uh, when you went through, did you see that vault for a second there? That room? No. There's an Omega room behind us. Congratulations on your right. first ever vault. So uh, sorry. That was a tremendously challenging one. What was I'm the order lie. of the chest again? Uh, this is vanilla. This Which is I... like food and statues. And then anything that has ore in the name, like Laramar or something like that, we put in the other one. Hey, chicken. <laughs> yeah, there's a guard uh, that's dog. That's no chicken, James. That's my guard dog. That's Please. Guard dog. Have some respect. All right. So... What, How'd what? you feel? I mean, I, I guess pretty good. What all did we get? All right. Well, uh, the most important thing for you two are these vault cookies. 
Uh, so eat three of these. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I had a gift from Suffix. Got an echo gem. All right, which one of you? Which one of you has been gooder? Oh, definitely Uno. Delicious. All right. Well, there's seven cookies on one side and six on the other. Eat these, and then look at your experience bar right above your saturation. Yeah. There you go. Congratulations. You're now level one. Ding. Fries are done. No. What? Oh, that's very troll. That's so. What? All right. That uh, the bar is full. Close? In this middle chest, there's 35 relic boosters. Yep. Grab those and eat them all. So the chances are they're not going to drop anything for you. Just hold down right click. Yep. Hey. And uh, let's hope for better modifiers. Because if I'm honest, that was an extremely challenging first vault for both of you. Oh, wow. We're in. Hey, there we go. Tired and lucky. So tired gives us mining fatigue. So just don't try and break spawners. I don't think I even saw a spawner. And uh, lucky means the chests are better. Can get away fast enough. If you hear a little ding when you click on a chest, that means the chest is luckier. Nice. Uh, the, the, the more elaborate the chest noise is when you click on it, the better the chest. I'm touching a B. Careful, careful, careful. Run, 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 run. Why would you touch the B? I shouldn't have touched the B. I'm sorry. Yeah. Clearly don't touch Bs. James and Uno, how confident do you feel exploring the next room without me? Uh, fine. Why? All right. I'm go back the, the way we room, came. But... Go west. So I just want to show you really quickly on the stream. This is called a puzzle room. This is extremely rare, but also requires like a pretty sophisticated setup to loot. Uh, and the way it works, if you can head over to this island... Oh, Maybe wait, blue on. apple just in case. Nice. So you see down there's a there's a puzzle underneath what I'm standing on. Yeah. You need to find pieces in all of the chests in this room and then match the pieces that are down below and then hit the button and you get 25 gilded chests. Uh yeah, James and Uno go ahead go ahead and head back. I'm just going to loot this room. I can't dash out of this thing. Ah, I'm stuck. Wow, the ghost blocks are real. I got bad news. I did not get enough of the keep the puzzle pieces to actually finish the puzzle there. But one of the cool things that you can do is you can take those pieces and you can uh, apply them to the next dungeon Wait. you go into, or the next vault you go into. So a very big part of Vault Hunters is there's actually like lore and four gods. And one of the gods here, they require different offerings. And the offerings are levels, the offerings are kill mobs, the offerings are give your blood, and another one of the offerings is loot. And when you open it, you not only get really cool rare chests, uh, but you also start to earn favor and disfavor with the different gods. Cool. Uh, so whenever you see those obelisks, it's always worth, worth checking if there's a quest. All right, don't see an obelisk in here. Oh, that is a gem room. Those are fantastic. So inside of all the glass and have some fun looking for it. Uh, you will find the special vault ores. That's one of my favorite rooms in the game. So look inside of the crystal, look inside of the glass, and anything that isn't a vanilla ore, break and grab. You have silk touch, so you're totally fine. I have found the final obelisk, and it's in a very dangerous room. Chat, would you fight the boss with two new players inside of a western room, or no? Is that, uh, is that a bad idea? I mean, it's still... It'll burn it down pretty fast. It's still a low-level place, right? Yep. All right. Uh, so run over to me. Uh, head straight east. So be very careful in a western ah. room. Uh, the floor underneath the entire floor of the building is TNT. So any small explosion can cause a chain reaction, which is terrifying. Sorry, say that one again. Uh, this room will explode. Cool. Got it. So, set everything on fire? Yeah, so okay. basically, if you hear one explosion, get as quickly away from it as possible. Like, dash in the opposite direction. Ow. Okay. You ready? Uh, yep. Uh, eat the blue heart. Eat the blue apple. This one does fire damage. And as long as you don't take fire damage, you're fine. So, go in there. Get some hits on it. GG! <laughs> <laughs> oh, last hit. There you go. You have now killed the boss in Vault Hunters. Gamers! Right, well, that's uh, game complete. Yep. What are we going to do next week? 
uh, blow this so, room up. Uh, now, Hurst, something that's some very silver. cool is look at... Oh my god, that's amazing. Look at the idol I gave you. And you should notice that one of the two levels should now... Or the uh, the uh, Totem of Undying, sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, it should have a level on it now. And that should give you an ability. Oh my god, what a roll from James. Just get... So now, in addition to not dying... Uh, it'll also give you a passive boost the whole time you're there, and nice. I think these are all good enough that I'm actually going to get three books of Unbreaking, and we should all... We should keep these totems with us for a while. Did I, did I get anything cool, chat, in here? Is anything in here cool? Surge? I mean, the cookies are cool. Somebody said something about a unique, but I don't know. Oh, that... dude, yes. Uh, in the very center, there's that pink block. I think it's Eupoline? Yeah. You got a legendary ore. That's huge. Ah, yeah. there we go. You know what you can do with that? Put it on the stack. Put it on the stack. That's right. Where's your stack? Uh, I got a vault diamond. Oh, yeah. No, not that stack. Yeah, that's that's a... one of the fancy ones. It goes in the other one. It goes in here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Bam. So I'd like you to know something very exciting. Uh-huh. I got 22 vault cookies in there. Ooh. Um, I got and something three. that's absolutely enormous. And this, this is like level 50 plus tier loot. I got two... Key, key pieces, pieces in that, which is absurd. I am just shy of level five. <laughs> I've just hit level five. All right, so All right I... crack those uh, relic boosties. Womp womp. This is why you always buy singles, kids. So mystery boosters are something that I don't take anymore, because... They're, they just they just work for me. Oh, they literally just give you... They give you random stuff. It's like a stack of bones. Yep, all kinds of stuff. Uh, now, the jackpot is a pickerang. I got That's a, like I, mega... I got a pickerang. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. That is, that is like the mega, mega, mega jackpot tier. That is the main thing you want if you click... You got a pickerang. Are you kidding me? I, I never joke about pickerangs. <laughs> What is uh, on, in these chests on the... Yeah. Here, James, eat these. Yeah, just, just toss them in there. There hey, you go, GG. Five. Oh, that means I can get... Um, you gonna take Elvish? I'm gonna take Elvish now. No, 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 no. Those go into, um, ah, those go into my ah, drawers. Ah, ah, ah. I am invincible. All right, so I got this sick Pickerang. What so do I do? So Pickerang can mine an entire tree. Uh, well, you don't... Yeah, uh, use Vein Miner when you do it. Oh. And Kacha. Can I not put an elite far away. in the back slot? Oh. Remember you have to hold down you have to hold down the vein mine button, uh, the use button the whole time. It's in flight. There uh -huh. you go. Uh it also works on stone. Uh now careful though, it does have durability. So I have mine enchanted with sharpness, silk touch, efficiency, unbreaking, and mending. And this ah. is one of the few high-end tools that you can bring into the vault, that you're going to want to bring into the vault, that also has mending. Ah, okay, cool. Cool. Here's my mine shaft. Oh. This? Wow. Really this went... the same one I've been using since you, day zero. You went all out with the decoration on this thing. Ah, oh, thank you. Maybe. And uh, you can see my vein mining on the mini map. Holy good <laughs> lord! Well, I've got twelve redstone ore, so I've got, all right, I've got, right, that's I've, fair. Uno, I've got thirteen. Well, uh, that's a lie. Know. I've got like seventeen. I have forty-seven. Who's counting? Um, I mean, all three of us are, it seems. Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay. I was just gonna say. Uh, yeah, we apparently all are. So something that is kind of a feel bad with Vault Hunters is um, their philosophy is you can't have highs without lows. And so there are a bunch of things in this game that when you break, there's a chance you get nothing. So for example, you learn that pretty well with the uh, with the Relic Booster Packs, right? Right. Uh, something that feels even worse is you can get that from the Legendary Ores, you can get that from Pogs. I've broken three Pog ores and gotten zero out of it, like the <laughs> rarest ore in the game, and just gotten skunked. Pass me the Vault Rock ores. Yeah, those I will. I got three. I got four. How'd you do, Uno? Uh, I just got the one. 
Still, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Where? All right. Any guesses? How well do you think we're going to do here? I think I think I could get upwards of six from one. Mm. You're going to uh, get 28. You want 28? Say, All right. I'm going to say 24. I'm going to say you're going to triple. I'm hoping I can crack 30. I'm hoping I can crack 30 here from eight. All right. Go for it. Why didn't that work? There we go. What did I get? <laughs> and James. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. 38. 38? <laughs> oh my God. Button, button. All right, once that's done, Uno, break the altar, place it down, and then you start the next crystal. You have no idea how much blood, sweat, and tears I had to set up for something like this to happen. This is absurd. Like, <laughs> woo! <laughs> Oh, so that noise, did you hear that noise? Yeah. That is a uh, lucky yeah. altar. And mm -hmm. there is a very small chance that when you put in a recipe, you'll hit a jackpot and it'll require significantly fewer items. Wraiths are the worst. I I hate wraiths so much. Mm -hmm. Like the, the actual like enemy is not too bad. It's the fact that they come around and they make cow noises at you. <laughs> <laughs> the cow noises? That's where you draw the line, Uno? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, amazing. All right. <laughs> I can I can cope with them sounding like a ghast or something like that, but no, when they start mooing in the nether, that's just weird. Do you know how we had those random modifiers? Mm -hmm. Now, this is something that I wouldn't worry about at all at this point of the game for you, uh, but take those vault crystals and one at a time, put them into this table. Uh, okay. Whoa. And you can see, you can actually start choosing your own modifiers and cool stuff like this. Yeah. How many do we get done total? I uh, Here's five. Yeah, Uno? I've got three. Wow. <laughs> Eight? Eight? In five minutes. And, for I mean, people we... who've been playing this for a long time, that's absurd. Yeah, we could easily make more. Well, that's probably a good place to end it for today. I hope you had a good time. I'm... I'm absolutely enamored with Vault Hunters. I am the happiest I've been in a very long time playing Minecraft. Sweet. It's been a pleasure, my friends. Bye. Catch Bye. You later. That's it. Y'all are great. Thanks for hanging out today. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. Check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run. Maybe you want to check out the Discord at discord.gg slash loading. Nope. Discord.gg slash LRR. Okay, I'm going to go now. Bye, everybody.